What's up everybody, Hatter87 here. Welcome back. How y'all doing? You doing good? That's awesome. I'm glad to hear it. So have you guys ever wondered what it's like to uh, feed a snake its meal? Well, today you're going to get to experience that with me. That's right. I own a ball python. Its name is Apophis. And today you guys are going to watch me feed him. If any of you are squeamish or don't like snakes, now is probably the time to turn away or tune to another one of my videos like that. Anywho, we'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, so we've got everything set up here. Uh, normally I feed Apophis in the bathtub, which that's where we're at. Uh, it's just pretty much the largest container I've got in the apartment and it seems to work the best. Um, I feed him frozen uh, rats like small rats um, so you guys are gonna see a dead frozen rat that's been thawed in some warm water uh, he's been thawed for about an hour now uh, roughly and I'm gonna try and keep this in frame as much as possible but it might be a little bit difficult I might have to kind of coax Apophis where I need him and whatnot so we're gonna get right into it hope you guys enjoy and again, if any of you are squeamish, you might want to look away or tune into another video of mine. Um, it's not super, super graphic, like you're not going to see a bunch of blood or anything, uh, but you're going to see a, a snake take a, a rat just straight down the gullet. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. See if I can coax him back over this way real quick. I think we're gonna have to go mobile. There we go. Here we go. I think we got it this time. Oh. Maybe. Maybe he won't. Oh! Missed it! Here we go. We're gonna get it this time. Come on, Papas. You got this, buddy. Almost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. I think he's super pissed off that he missed it now. Oh, the waiting game. The waiting game is real, y'all. The waiting is the hardest part. Oh, there we go. I took it. All right, now I should be able to get this set back up so that we can sit and enjoy dinner in the movie. All right, sorry, y'all had to switch out the battery real quick. some stuff around here get them in there so as you all can see I'm gonna zoom in here he's already starting to kind of get the rats head in his mouth here and for any of you out there who don't know snakes can actually unhinge their jaws and they can actually stretch to a little bit larger than the, the largest part of their body. Um, their jaw, their, you know, the upper part of their neck area body, just that whole area can stretch to like a crazy insane um, length. And it's so cool to watch it and get to experience, you know, uh, kind of nature in action. So 
like I said, if any of you are squeamish, I do apologize, but this is actually one of the coolest parts of owning a snake. Like, everybody like, oh yeah, you own a snake, that's super cool, yada yada yada. Well, it is, you know, it's super cool to own a snake, but they just kind of lay around all the time. Like, they don't really do much, you know, you can get them out and hang out with them and like walk around the house with them on your shoulders and stuff, but for the most part, you don't really get much interaction with them. Um, they spend a lot of the day just kind of hidden in one of their hides, uh, which I will show you guys that in a little bit after it gets done eating. And um, so yeah, you don't really see them a whole lot. You don't really get to interact with them a whole lot. So this is actually one of the the coolest and most fun parts of owning a snake uh, is the feeding process. So I get a lot of enjoyment out of this and I wanted to kind of share this with everybody. And uh, you know, if you guys like this, definitely give it a big old thumbs up and uh, leave your comments down below. Uh, say hello to Apophis. It is his first video. Yay! And I do apologize. This is a little bit of a slow process, so I will probably speed things up or kind of cut scenes here and there and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, it's super cool just to watch their, their jaw unhinge and then watch the whole process and and watch the sni the rat go down you know the little like half an inch by half an inch by half an inch at a time you know so it's, it's just super super cool um 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 <laughs> This is actually a little bit of a smaller rat um, than he could take. Um, usually you can feed a snake a rat that is, or a mouse, or however, you know, depending on the size of your snake um, and what snake you have, you, know, you can feed them a rat that is a little bit larger than the largest part of their body. So like you know, right here is kind of like the largest part of his body. And I don't want to like get too far in here and put him off feet or anything, but that area is pretty much the largest part of his body, which is about uh, like golf ball size and diameter. So you can feed them a rat that is slightly larger than that and it won't do any harm to the snake. Um, you know, they their bodies are meant to stretch and meant to expand and take that all in and then as it goes through their digestive system, it compresses and and um, like calcifies everything. It breaks it down and then um, turns the the bones and the fur and all that into these little calcium um, turds, basically. Uh, that is just like it's so crazy to to watch and think about and and just like I said, just kind of experience nature. And it's finest here. You know, this is the whole like hunt and survive that has been bred into these these creatures over the course of their existence. And it's just it's so cool and so educational. And um, like I said, I just want to kind of share this and and give you hopefully you guys can get some enjoyment out of this like I get some enjoyment out of this but uh yeah as you can see like his neck is like super expanded his mouth is all super wide <laughs> so it's just crazy to watch these guys just unhinge their jaw and just swallow these things that are quite a bit larger than that smaller part you know than the head and and the the upper part of the body there like they just take the whole thing in and it's just crazy. You know, and sometimes when, when I feed him, like, he'll kind of get confused and like try to, like, like try to take him from the back and instead of the head. And, you know, sometimes they have to like, drop the the food, drop the the rat, and kind of search around the body to find the smallest, you know, the most narrow point of, of the body of the rat to, to start at. And sometimes it doesn't always work out so well, but uh, other times, like this time, 
we got really lucky, so yay us! <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's just it's crazy to watch to watch him eat and to experience this, and you know, like I said before, just just see nature at its finest. Like, oh man, that's that's a great shot right there. That's that gives everybody such a good idea of, of you know how much they can expand their body how much their skin can actually stretch you know everyone thinks that oh they're just a bunch of scales well no they, they've got skin underneath those scales you know like um, and it's super super stretchy and and their muscle their muscle tone in these snakes is just, are just crazy you know Apophis alone he's super super strong and he's only about uh, two to maybe two and a half feet long um, so he's maybe half the size that he's going to get uh, ball pythons grow up to about five foot long and they can live for up to 30 years so that's a really long time um, you know for for a pet and it's a super huge um, commitment and you know so if you if you watch this video and you're like oh man that's so cool I want to watch this you know you know a couple times a month or you know once a month depending on the size of the food and and whatnot um, you know just be prepared you know it's it's it is kind of a lifelong commitment for these these creatures these animals you know and you know it's not super super tough to take care of them but you know you gotta get them clean water and clean out their cage and make sure that you have a space that they can chill while you're cleaning their cage like I literally just got done cleaning Apophis's cage before I shot this video because um, I wanted to make sure that he had a whole nice clean bedding and everything and um, clean water dish and all that stuff before I fed him so that he can go back into his terrarium and just feel comfortable and and just kind of chill out after you know expending a, a bunch of energy to to eat <laughs> you guys can see the the tail right there kind of creeping out Bloop, and there it's down <laughs> so now at this point he's just compressing the body further and further down into the stomach um, to start the whole digestive process and everything and you'll be able to see kind of this lump that just goes down the entire body and then it'll get into the stomach and you know just kind of sit there and um, it'll be there the lump will be there for about a day ish uh, and then it kind of go, starts going away and everything and you can't really notice it anymore but it does stay for a little bit you know tomorrow around this time there will be no more lump Like I said, right now he's just compressing it all down into his into his body and getting it down into the stomach. So you can see that lump start to move down. That's so cool. And now he's trying to get his his jaw back into into place and everything. It looks like he's got it. Looks like it's there. Looks like we're good. So yeah, now he's just gonna wait for me to take him out, pretty much. You know, he's gonna slither around and try to escape. And that's the other thing with ball pythons and anybody who's like trying to maybe decide on whether they want to get one or, or not. And uh, you know, if you're like I said, you're, maybe you're thinking like, hey, that would be super cool. Well. You know, ball pythons are also extremely good escape artists. Like, Apophis actually did get out at one point or another um, during the process of, uh, you know, trying to... I didn't really have, like, good uh, lid locks for the lid of the terrarium. And so it was one of those things where, you know, like I said, they're super, super strong. Like, they can, they can lift up. Uh, quite a bit of weight, you know, because they're just so, they're like, they're all muscle. They're so strong. They're so, so incredibly strong. And they, they can lift a bunch of weight. It's crazy, like, to watch, watch them, them like, 
go around and map out their entire terrain to kind of find little nooks and crevices and, and places to try and escape. So you definitely want to make sure that you have either really good lid locks on your terrarium or you want to make sure that you've got a sufficient amount of weight on top of it so that they can't push up on the lid and escape. Um, you know, like I said, Apophis did escape at one point in time and he was out for, phew, man, he was out for probably a couple of weeks and then eventually we ended up finding him in the bathroom of the apartment we were living in. So I I was really, really glad that he didn't get out anywhere else into the into the hall or into a neighbor's apartment or anything. I, I felt so horrible. I felt like the worst uh you know a animal husband ever and it really put a lot of things in perspective and, and made me realize like how important it is to make sure that you have all these precautions in place and uh so yeah i try to make sure that uh you know that's something that's always taken care of that's always on my mind with uh with apophis here and so any of you maybe new snake owners or soon to be snake owner owners or anything like that you know make sure that you're make sure that you're well informed make sure that you are taking every precaution to keep your your pet safe because you know um they're just doing what they do it's in their nature it's built into them from birth you know um so they're just they're just doing them and it's our job as as pet owners to make sure that they are um, taken care of and can't get themselves into trouble and, and um, everything else like that. So, anyways, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get him out of here and back into his terrarium. So I'm going to cut the feed here, and I will see you guys in just a minute. All right. So, as you all can see, we've got him back in the terrarium now, and he is looking to find his hide. Uh, which is this thing right over here, uh, with this rock, and uh, he spends quite a bit of his time in there, um, just kind of hanging out, and chilling, and not doing much, you know. Um, but yeah, so this is his setup. I might let me do this real quick, give you guys a quick little overview here. Um, so yeah, that's like I said, that's his his hide right there um, we've got thermometer in the background there some like creeping ivy uh, plants in there they're not real they're fake uh, and they're pretty easy to wash I just fill up the bathtub with some hot soapy water and just kind of like go over and brush all the leaves off and everything and clean it that way um, and his water dish and then we got the hygrometer in the back um, because you want to make sure that they stay at a fairly decent amount of humidity not like uh, tropical or anything but them the moderate to to desert in between there like in between like uh, 30 to 60 percent humidity is always good um, right now it's at 70 which is fine um, it will go down a lot sooner like I said I literally just cleaned his cage and sprayed everything down so that's why the humidity is so high in there um, but normally you want to keep it between 20 and 60 uh, or like the 30 and 60 um, and then we have another thermometer over there and just this other little hide area you know a spot where he can kind of get in here if he needs to get a little bit more heat or something um, so this one's not, not as enclosed um, and he also spends a bunch of time kind of curled up right over there and, and whatnot. But uh, looks like he's actually going to come out and say hello. Hello, Apophis. How are you? Look at that. Being all photogenic and stuff. So cute. <laughs> I was really hoping I can get... I'm hoping, yeah. Hoping I can get a yawn for you guys. That is one of the cutest things ever to see he did a really big one when I first put him in here and I don't know if he'll do another one but we'll see we'll see but yeah that is his terrarium and that is him eating 
I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. And also subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. If you don't like snakes, I'm sorry for you. Not everybody can be as cool as I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Everybody's got their own thing. Different strokes for different folks. But I absolutely love Apophis. He is such a cool, gentle snake. And everyone's like, oh, they're all slimy. No, they're not slimy at all. It feels like kind of uh, when they crawl on you or like slither on you. It's, if, oh, there he was. Yes, he did it. He did it. That was great. <laughs> um, but it feels like uh, little vibrations that are kind of going down because each one of the vertebrae you know he can move like independently so it's this weird kind of crawly vibrational thing it's, it's so hard to explain it's something that you just kind of have to feel um, but they're not slimy they're not creepy and spooky he's super chill super laid back and um, I've never been bit not once and I have done a lot of things screwing with him and to piss him off and he's never ever struck at me so that's super cool um but yeah he's so chill and so cool um and like i said he's he's only about half of what he will grow to be so you know he's gonna get a lot fatter and a lot longer you know five foot that's that's almost as tall as me, you know, that's that's like 11 inches shorter than me. So, he's going to get big. Oh, there's going into his hide over there. But, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. And like I was talking, guys, before, um, you know, I like I said, I've got a whole bunch of weight up on top of his terrarium. Like, there is probably a good man like 50 to 60 pounds like this thing here you know this is full of change that's like man that's probably like five pounds in and of itself you know and then we've got the box here we've got these books we got books we got a plant you know that thing's at least a few pounds that's probably like three four pounds in itself um but we, yeah you know that little statue guy He's probably like a pound or two. Um, so yeah, just like a bunch of weight on top. So I've actually sat here and made sure that he can't lift anything. And he's tried and to no avail. He didn't get it. So yeah, you know, make sure if you don't have lid locks, you've got a bunch of weight. But also make it so that they, you know, obviously they need to breathe. So don't like just... <clears throat> cover the whole thing with a whole bunch of stuff and make it so they can't breathe um but yeah super cool super fun he likes to chill and slither around yeah he's up there now <laughs> but anyways i think i'm going to uh in this video here Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. Big ol' thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And also share all the content with all your friends and family, you know. Super educational video. As, as educational, but user-friendly educational as I could be. Um, try to keep it, like, real with you guys. Uh, also, you know... Make sure that you guys leave your comments down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Um, I've got some other videos that are going to be coming out fairly soon. Uh, so I believe I'm going to be doing a Would You Rather video here real soon. Um, and then also I'm in the works of editing a couple other videos. So stay tuned. Lots of cool stuff. Also live streaming is going to be pretty much a regular thing on Wednesdays as of right now. Uh, if there's another day that works better for you guys... Let me know that as well, okay? Uh, I will try my best to link up with uh, Bourbon Lake Theater, who is uh, my my streaming partner right now. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, make sure that you do that too. And uh, give him a big old thumbs up. 
Uh, he's got some pretty cool content on there, a bunch of gaming stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Apophis appreciates it too. Give give Apophis, come on. It was Apophis' first video. Give him a big old thumbs up. Tell him hi. Give him some love. He loves it. I'll tell him all about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, y'all.